Welcome to a fee way excellence without stress. Hi guys, we're back again. The rest a few way out of you being today on our excellence without stress journey. We're gonna take another topic which is age transfer, a very good, a very interesting topic in physics. So it is our everyday experience that when we pour hot water into an aluminium cup, the handle of the cup soon fills all to the touch. I'm sure all of us has experienced this. If you dip a silver spoon into a hot tea, the handle of spoon quickly fills hotter than it was before. The heat from the hot water or hot tea has been transferred transferred along the metal handle to the other end of the cup or spoon by the process of what conduction by the process of conduction so this topic you know this topic is about heat transfer how it is transferred from one point to another and all these examples we've, we gave are things that you have experienced one time or the other. You will notice that there is that you if, if you pour hot water from your kettle, you pour it into cold water that is in your pocket. Soon, there is going to be a change in temperature of the cold water. And that is the talk, what we are trying to talk about today. So what is conduction? Conduction of it is the process by which heat energy is transferred through a material. The average position of the particles of the material material remaining the same so that is conduction conduction of it is a process by which its energy is transferred through a material is transferred through a material the average position of the particles of the material remaining was the same its energy is always transferred when different parts of a solid body are at different temperatures yes the direct of heat transfer is always from the water to the cooler part of the solid. For example, for the spoon dipped into a hot tea, the heat is transferred from the bowl of the spoon inside the hot tea to the handle of the spoon outside the tea. And that's how we're going to notice that the spoon that is inside the, tea, the tip of the spoon inside the tea will definitely be hotter than the tip of the spoon that is outside of the tea cup. So most metals, e.g. copper, aluminum, silver, iron, allow heat energy to pass through them very easily. And this is the process. This process is called the word conduction. This is the process of conduction. When metals allow heat energy to pass through them, conduction. That's how you say conductors are materials that allow electricity to pass through them. Also for heat also, conductors allow heat to flow through them. So most metals, e.g. Al copper, aluminum, Silver iron allow its energy to pass through them very easily. Such materials are known as good conductors of heat. Most non-metals, e.g. water, air, wood, plastic, cloth, cotton, wool, cork, are poor conductors of heat. Or they, we can also call them what insulators. Such materials do not allow heat to pass easily through them. And look at it now. Block A has a higher temperature than block B. Yes, this is block A. You can see how red it is so it has higher temperature let's assume that block b is closer so what happened there was a there was heat transfer it transferred from the warmer block to the what to the cooler block then later there is a balance of temperature the two blocks are at the same temperature and it flows what stops and that's the process two of them were at different temperature hot cold and when there was a um, when the transferring occurred the warmer um, body transferred its heat to the colder body and later you can see the balance point and that is conduction the ability of a metal to conduct heat is known as its thermal conductivity is known as its thermal con conductivity though most metals are good conductors their con thermal conductivities differ from metal to metal that is that ability to what to conduct it differs for each what for each metals kinetic molecular theory and explanation of what conduction when one end of a material is heated one end is heated the molecules there gain energy and vibrate with increasing speed. You know, we've established that materials consist of what molecules, right? We've already established that when we're talking about the molecular theory of matter. You remember the uh, the theories, um, the osmosis, the this thing, pollen grain, and all of that. How we discovered that oh, they are smaller, smaller mat materials, and when they are eaten, what happened? The, they vibrate the molecules does what it vibrates when one end of a material is heated the molecules there gain energy and vibrate with what increasing speed that is maybe they were at rest when the, the metal was cold they were at rest but once temperature 
comes in what happened they vibrate so when one end of the material is heated the molecules there gain energy and vibrate with what increasing speed they vibrate faster and faster and further out so they therefore bump against neighboring molecules more than before and so transfer greater energy to them this goes on all the way along the solid all the molecules of the solids eventually vibrate more rapidly about their fixed position. Therefore, in this way, time and energy is transferred along the solid, although the average position of the molecules remain what unchanged. The position of the molecules remain unchanged, but they vibrate about their mean what position. Practical application of good and bad conductors. We already know what a good conductor is. A good conductor is a material that what allows the conduction of it. And bad conductor is definitely the one that doesn't conduct it. So good conductors, good conductors are good conductors are used whenever it is necessary to conduct it quickly. Thus, cooking pots and frying pans are usually made of metals such as um, aluminium, which is a good conductor. This ensures quick transfer of heat from the fire to the food being cooked and a quick cooking of the food. Those are good conductors. We can see this picture. Conduction, transfer of energy between adjacent molecules. Why conversion is movement of a hot liquid and radiation is emission of electromagnetic. You are going to get it. So we said good conductors are used whenever it is necessary to conduct it quickly. Yes, they are used whenever it is necessary to conduct it quickly. Those cooking pots and frying pans are usually made of metals. You notice that they are usually made because they are good conductors. This ensures quick heat transfer. Like we've put this on the pot now. We put this on the stove quick heat transfer from the fire to the food being cooked and a quick cooking of the food on the other hand the handle of the cooking utensils are made of what insulators are made of insulators you know insulators are bad conductors like wood or what plastic materials so that the utensils when hot can be held comfortably by the world, by the handles and that is it we can we've noticed that now that this handle will be made with, of wooden or what or rubber materials so that the heat will not transfer easily to it. Use of rocks on the floor. A tile floor is more cooler to the feet than a rock covered floor at the same time pressure. This is because tile is a better conductor of heat than rock. Heat transfer from one's foot to the rug is not conducted away rapidly. So the rug quickly eats up on its surface to the temperature of the foot. But the towel conducts the heat away rapidly from one's foot and thus can take more heat from the foot. So a surface temperature drops and the foot feels cold and the foot feels cold. Home cooling in the tropics. It is our common experience that thatched roof houses are cooler than galvanized iron roofed ones especially in the absence of asbestos ceilings the iron conducts the heat we know that the iron conducts so it's common especially that attached roof houses are cooler why because of you know that they don't conduct electricity because of this roofing so it's a common experience that attached roof houses are cooler inside than galvanized iron roofs once especially in the absence of asbestos ceilings the iron conducts the heat from the sun and eats up the inside of the house. To reduce this heat, asbestos ceilings are used. Asbestos is an insulator and prevents the heating up of the house. Thatched roof houses need no ceiling to maintain cool temperature because their materials are what insulators and do not conduct the heat from the sun into the room. The use of clothes to keep warm. Clothes keep us warm by holding air between the clothes and the body. It is not the clothes that warm the body, but the air that is a poor conductor that clothes that the clothes trans that the clothes transfer around the body. Hence, clothing made from woolen and four materials are worn in the cold climates to retain heat and keep the body warm. So now we are going to convection in liquid and gases. You know conduction occurs in words in metal so now liquid and gases liquid and gases are generally poor conductors they are generally poor conductors it is however effectively transferred in them by what is called the convection it is um, effectively transferred in them by convection Convection involves the transfer of heat by the actual movement of the heated molecules from the hot parts of 
to the what cooler pan of the fluid. Convection is the process by which it's transferred in a liquid or gas by the actual movement of the heated fluid from the outer to the what colder pan. So this is the process in, by which it is transferred in a liquid or gas by the actual movement of the heated fluid from the outer to the what to the colder pan. That is convection. Convection currents in gases. Gases expand more readily than liquids because they are freer. Therefore, convection currents are easily set up in gases when their temperature what, rises. The difference between conduction and convection is that in conduction, the average position of the molecules remain the same. But in convection, it is carried to the other parts of the liquid by the actual movement of the warm fluid itself. By the actual movement of the warm fluid itself. I'm sure we understand what we are trying to say. In conduction, the materials will not move. It will just become what is not it will be moving from. But you notice that when water is boiling, there is a movement. There is an actual what movement. Conversion currents in nature, land and sea breeze. Land and sea breezes are the result of the conversion currents in nature. In a hot day, the sun warms the land more quickly than the sea because the land is a better absorber of heat and also has a lower specific heat capacity. As a result, the air near the land warms up and rises. Also, cooler air from the sun moves in to replace the risen air. The conversion current is completed by the air in the upper atmosphere, moving down in the opposite direction. We can see it from this now. There is, there, there is a motion. There is hot air turns to air closed. Look at warm air rises. When the warm, warm air rises, it is cool. Say so during the daytime. When there is sunshine, the land what eats up. You can see during the third time when there is sunshine, the land eats up quickly than the sea. Above the land, warm air rises and the wind blows towards the coast. And this is the direction that we are seeing here. Cool air from the sea moves in to replace the risen air. The conversion current is completed by the air in the upper atmosphere, atmosphere, moving down in the opposite direction. The cool breeze that blows inland from the sea is known as a sea breeze. At night, the reverse process what takes place. And that's why we will notice that at and uh, during the day, the water is cold, and at night, the, the water is what warm. Practical application of convection currents in cooling devices. Ventilation. Good ventilation in houses relies on the continuous circulation of convection air currents. Air heated by respiration and fires rises towards the ceiling and escapes through the ventilators placed near the ceiling. These are the practical application of convection. This is replaced by fresh cool air from outdoor, which enters the room through the windows and other openings in this way, the way the room is what ventilated. <clears throat> Another one is cooling of motor car engine. The motor car engine requires to be cooled to prevent what overheating. Continuous convection currents are utilized in the cooling process of the car engine. Water circulates around the engine by convection currents. The heat generated by the engine is conducted by the metal to the water in the jacket. The water itself is cooled by the draughts of the air created around the radiator by the motion of the car and the movement of the fan. And then the last one, which is radiation. A third mode of heat transfer is the word radiation. No material medium is required in radiation, but in conduction and conventional material medium is what is necessary. Heat from the sun reaches the earth by radiation. Also, when you warm yourself by the fireside, the heat from the fire reaches you by radiation. You don't have to sit, stay inside the fire, you just need to stay close and you get what? Warm. Radiation is the process by which heat is transferred from the altar to a cooler place without eating of the intervening medium. Detection of radiation. Radiation can be detected by a radiometer and a thermopile. A thermopile can both detect and measure radiant heat. Radiant energy. Sorry, a thermopile detects and measures radiant energy by the deflection of a galvanometer. We know galvanometers uh, detect small currents. A sensitive current measuring instrument. The radiation is detected by the conversion of the radiant energy into electric energy. This electricity causes the deflection of the galvanometer. The greater the amount of radiation, the more the deflection of the galvanometer of the thermopile. Applications of radiation. A black surface, besides being a beta radiator of heat, 
than a public service is also a better absorber of heat so most times um, on the hot day you'll be asked that no don't wear black clothes why because it absorbs heat more on the basis of this it is easy to see why it is not advisable to wear a dark color jacket or shirt in the hot afternoon the outer surface of a teapot is brightly polished such a surface radiates less heat than an unpolished one and we therefore retain it inside the teapot for a longer period a brightly painted car is preferred to a black painted car in nigeria and other tropical countries the black painted car we absorb and retain it from the sun and inside the car will be very hot those are the applications and this also an electric pressing iron has silver surface at the base the bright surface reduces the heat loss from the iron by radiation factory roofs sorry factory roofs are brightly painted with am and aluminium to keep the interior cool since the bright surface will not absorb much heat from the sun the thermos flask in the thermos flask the three modes of heat transfer are brought into good application are brought into this is the thermos flask we have the cup cap the cap will prevent heat loss then the silver surface the insulated support the vacuum and all all these are preventing heat loss of the three processes thanks